Welcome to this week's vlog here at Dunoon Grammar School. Um, I hope you've had a fantastic week. Um, just before we go through the vlog, I want to mention we have a, a very special um, appearance in this week's vlog, so stay tuned um, and you'll see it um, at the end. Um, let's go and find out what's been going on in the school this week. <laughs> On Friday last week, uh, Milton House ran a fundraising event for Ollie's Wee Bothy and they arranged a world record um, attempt event in the forum and a number of our staff and pupils took part in some fun activities such as how many marshmallows you can eat in a minute, how much pizza you can eat in a minute, peeling an orange, unrolling a toilet roll. Um, it was great fun um, and they raised over £200 for Ollie's Wee Bothy so well done to, to everybody in Milton House. This week saw our um, additional support needs assistant Chris Barrett run two marathons in two days, which is an amazing achievement. Um, on Sunday, he set off on his first marathon um, from the Dunoon Pier right round to Ardentinny, and he was accompanied by his running partner Marion, but a number of our staff also accompanied, accompanied him um, throughout the, the run. Miss Derrett, Mr Coulthard and Mrs Campbell also started off, but there was a lot of people from the community there um, also. And on Monday, his second marathon, um, the man's a machine, um, but the second marathon um, took place. He left the school at quarter to ten with his own running club from the school, which is made up of mainly um, um, first and second year girls, um, along with Blair McComb and Oscar McGilvery. Um, the running club ran um, over um, half a marathon, which was a great achievement for them. They ran right round to Ardentinny, so absolutely fantastic achievement. Um, Chris um, and Marion were raising money for three charities which are close to Dunoon Grammar School's um, Heart, Ollie's Wee Bothy, Teenage Cancer Trust and Young Carers um, and he's met his target of £1,200 and above so well done to Chris um, and everybody else that took part and a special mention to Aidan Purdy who gave up his Sunday to run with Chris and ran 14 miles um, as well so well done to every single person um, that um, was involved in that. This week saw our S4 pupils go through their option interviews um, and to um, meet with their heads of house um, along with parents and carers. On Monday, um, we held a tutorial for our higher administration and IT pupils before they sat their final practical exam on Wednesday and um, good luck to all of them when the results come out. On Wednesday, we issued our S1 to S3 tracking reports. Um, so again, please make sure that you get that from your sons and daughters if you've not already received it. Um, on Thursday and Friday, our National Five and Higher Music pupils took part in their practical exam um, and we have some very talented young people in our school, some really talented musicians, so I know that they'll have done very well with their performance but I wish them all the best again when the re results come out. During house time this week, um, our seniors led a session on Down Syndrome Awareness Week. Um, and our S1 and S2 pupils took part in a house dodge co dodgeball competition and our senior pupils um, on Friday took part in a volleyball house competition. Again, trying to, to increase the house activity within, within the school. On Friday, Miss Derrett took her grand dance group to her Gale House to take part in the 24-hour dance-a-thon that their Gale House ladies um, are taking part on. They were starting at 5 o'clock on Thursday and finishing at 5 o'clock on Friday. Uh, well done to all of them, but our pupils attended to cheer them along, but also to teach them a dance on Friday afternoon. So thanks very much to the girls for going down and Miss Derrett for arranging that. Can I also remind parents and pupils about our second study weekend which is taking place on the 23rd and 24th of March. Teachers have sign up sheets so please encourage your sons and daughters to take part. There are only five weeks until the exams start and three teaching weeks left so as much input to help them do, uh, to reach their potential will benefit them so please do come along um, and for these additional inputs. Also want to remind everybody we've launched our Easter school timetable and again you can sign up with that with your class teachers. Um, that timetable is on the website and um, it's on our Facebook page and will be sent out via um, expressions. We'll also be running a third study weekend um, during the Easter weekend so again there will be information out about that next week for the young people to sign up for those sessions too. And I also just want to remind everybody about supported study. Um, please do attend supported study. The, the staff are um, giving you a real good chance of reaching your potential. So all these sessions that are taking place after school and at lunchtime 
take them up and go along um, and get as much out of, of the school as you can before the final exams. As I mentioned on this week's vlog, um, Mr Barrett here, Chris Barrett, one of our additional needs support assistants, um, ran two marathons in two days. What a great achievement. Well done, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> I'm surprised you're still standing. No, that's okay. Um, so I've brought Chris along here just to get some more information and to let, to let him um, tell you about his two marathons. So Chris, why, why, what was your inspiration for doing two marathons? Well, inspiration comes from everywhere, really, because uh, last year we did a staff challenge and I did my first marathon for the Mental Health Committee. And it went so well, I thought I've got to raise the bar and do something extra the year later. So two marathons in two days seemed a good way to kind of raise the bar there. Um, and the kids running club, we got those involved. Yeah. The kids wanted to run along as well and show support. Uh, and I just want to say actually thanks very much to everybody that turned up on the Sunday in the tipping down rain and got <laughs> soaked to run along with me. Uh, we've raised up to now about £1,300 for Amazing. three local charities. Uh, and a big thank you to Sam and Martin, all his parents who've supported this all heartedly. Um, next year, three in three days, maybe. So you've I'm heard, you've camera, heard it here. So you've heard it here first. Three marathon, marathons in three days. So that's Chris's goal next year. That's what I was going to ask you. What your goal so was for next year? Everybody get training, including Mr. Mitchell, who's going to come and run along. Yes, well, well, okay. You're hearing that here right now as well. I will run <laughs> no e even half, even half a mare of marathon with him next year. That right? Okay, that's a deal. A deal. 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 Okay. Um, Chris, I, I, I think everyone's in admiration of you. Um, what, what an achievement. Um, and to see our young people running along beside you, and yeah. you know, you, you were talking about the encouragement they gave each other, and um, the encouragement they gave yourself and Marion um, was amazing as well. Yeah, and the kids um, were brilliant. They were brilliant. They, they thought they'd run maybe three or four miles. And probably all in all, they did about 10, 11 miles, which is great. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, so thank you so much. And uh, the, three, the, the three charities as well, I'm sure, are going to benefit greatly from, from the money that you've raised. They so really so well done. Thank um, you. You're a credit to our school. Thanks very much. Next week on Monday sees Brian Costello returning to school to give his third parental input. The uptake for these inputs has been amazing and I want to thank everybody for, for coming along. Um, next week's session, will, uh, um, Brian will be focusing in on adverse childhood experiences and trauma and about how to motivate young people. Um, if you haven't attended the first and second session, you're more than welcome to come along to the third session. But it will start at half past six in the school forum on Monday evening. On Tuesday, we have our S1 parents' evening taking place. It starts at half past five through to half past seven, again, in the school forum. You can sign up for appointments with your class teachers using the, the online booking um, appointment system, and you get a log, a log in for that um, or a link for that um, on our school website or on our Facebook page, um, and it was on the letter that was issued to all S1 parents. On Tuesday, our National 5 drama pupils will be sitting their practical examination. Um, in front of a visiting examiner and I would like to wish them all the very best um, for that. Again, we have some talented actors in the school so I know they're going to do extremely well on Tuesday so good luck to them. On Wednesday, our parent council meet at 7 o'clock and that meeting will take place in the school conference room and we are continually welcoming new members along to that so if you want to come along, even just to see how the parent council works, please do come along at 7 o'clock in the school conference room. On Friday, our staff are going to be taking part in our second staff quiz. The first quiz was um, a great success um, and it was organised by Mrs Somerville and Mr Spark was the quiz master. So again, I'm really looking forward to that, but I, ha I do have to say I think this time uh, my team are certainly going to, to win the trophy um, on Friday. And finally, um, next week, our S5 pupils will be going through the option process. Um, and again, if you want to speak to um, your child's head of house before that takes place, please do either email them or contact them via the school office. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend, and I'll speak to you again next week. The countdown is really on now. 52 days to go till I retire. I'll give you an update next week on the hours and minutes. Bye. <laughs>